Hello. So, all right. Today is my birthday. I know. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. You don't care. Now, usually I always have a, a video for my birthday, like every year. But like, there's nothing going on right now. So that's why today is a little bit different. And also I'm dealing with some health issues. That's why lack of uploads. Anyway, so I haven't done a Q&A in quite a long time. Actually, in fact, I haven't done a Q&A since like eight, eight years ago. So I could have asked like new questions. Like, hey, ask me any question. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But no, you know what? I thought it'd be fun if I answered the same questions I did eight years ago and see if I answered the questions the same way i thought this would be a fun idea until i realized this video is 48 minutes i hope i cut this down to shorter okay anyway this is uh pre-intro minecraft kaz <laughs> not again i have to bring this up again no <laughs> not both of them why do i have <laughs> the frames the frames Oh my god, there's more! There's more! <laughs> I'm dying of cringe, man! There's more! Actually, this one wasn't bad. This, this was made from a friend of mine, but he did a good job. The only thing though, I, I changed the song and he didn't like it. And to be honest, I look at it now, yeah, it's out of sync. But <laughs> not the Minecraft intros. So to be fair, right? Minecraft intros back in the day were the shit. Why is there more? Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, I remember this one. This one's always a bop. I was, Hello, that was my favorite. Animal. Hello. I'm skipping that. I don't do Minecraft no more. There's no more Minecraft. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a damn weeb. So, you guys ready? In yes. Three, two, uh. one. Hello, everyone. Oh, and you're so the, uh, ugly. Subscriber special. Wait, yeah. that's me. So, for those dirty, yeah. I'm wearing my. Uh, I, I thought I had the same shirt. Hold on, pause. I, I thought I had the same shirt for. Dude, I don't change. I don't change eight years later. What? I still have that shirt, by the way. Also, one more thing. God, I keep pausing. I haven't seen this video at all since like I made this, so I have no idea what the questions are. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. Okay. First question. Cool. What got you into anime? Okay, wait, hold on. L let's see if I can answer first. Then I'll hear my old, very old self out. If I recall. Uh, I had moved schools and I already liked kind of anime. I grew up as a cartoon kid. I always watched Cartoon Network and a little bit Nickelodeon, a little bit Disney, but I was always a Cartoon Network kid. So, of course, with Cartoon Network, you had shows coming on like Dragon Ball Z on Friday nights. You had Naruto showing every now and then. Uh, you had the Pokemon anime, you had so many different shows and Teen Titans and whatnot. So I already liked all of those, although I didn't get into like like newer anime where you have to kind of go in the depths of anime to find out anime. So I ended up moving to a new school and absolutely hated it. I ended up being even more alone than I was back then. So I kind of went into my own little corner and I just started uh, watching anime because that's all I could do. I didn't know what else to watch. I was on YouTube trying to search up stuff. And then I remembered, wait, there's anime. Why don't I just look up anime? And I think the first, <laughs> don't judge me. I think the first anime I <laughs> first watched and I don't remember how I found out about it it was a show called girls bravo don't look that up please especially if you're in the younger age and uh, you know I just started watching more and the 2012 happened I saw sword art online bam this account happened uh, watched throughout the year sword art online became all right with me I still like it although it's not as hype for me as it was back then so yeah uh, let's see what I had to say it all started in um when I was a kid I don't even know how old I was, probably like five or six, maybe older, I don't know. But uh, every night, or like every day I would watch uh, Cartoon Network because Cartoon Network back then was amazing. I really missed old Cartoon Network. I do but, too. Um, anyways, um, at night they would have Adult Swim, which they still have today. And um, I think, at, yeah, they still like, have Adult Swim. At the I, early, think. I haven't seen it so early long. mornings, they would show like anime, like Detective Conan, Inuyasha, maybe Naruto, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would watch I, that. I do remember the tuning exams. Stay up because on Fridays, I believe they would do an all-nighter of Cartoon Network. So <laughs> why not, right? Yes, sir. So, um, Dragon I Ball Z, and then the rest of the night was Cartoon and Network. And I thought it was okay. And the funny thing is that I had no interest in anime whatsoever. That that was true, Pretty actually. Weird, considering what I am now. Then I started watching anime. I believe the first one I saw was Girls Bravo. <laughs> 
But, uh, Shut the fuck up, pervert! <laughs> kind of. I haven't seen that in years, but <laughs> I kind of remember it. Why do I remember? <laughs> the titties. That, I remember the titties. That, I to watch. Even today, I'm still trying to find new animes to watch. Yeah. Next question. Crazy enough, me now, I'm not watching as much anime as I did back then. I'd watch like an episode here and there, especially like as I've been basically having these health issues throughout this like whole year so far I i've dabbled with watching some anime obviously i don't want to pull like the, <laughs> the weird ones out there as i watch into that big screen behind me but I, st I still watch anime like here and there i'll watch an episode or two per day maybe but there's still like so many shows that like i i was interested in i just didn't have the time to like to actually watch it what are your goals for 2016 i guess my what are my goals? Damn. Really enough, I don't have any goals. I The only goal right now that I can remember, f at least for like for years to come, right? I just, I want to reach 100k first. That is the, the main goal that I want to reach. Although obviously as I am right now, I, I am not going to reach it. I do want to upload more. I just, with these health issues, I have not been in the most chirpiest place, which is why I haven't uploaded too much. But hopefully very soon we can get uploads going again. I don't know how long this is going to take. It says usually one to two weeks, but it's been it's it's been taking longer and it's painful and it sucks but at least i am still here whoop de do my goal right now what I was my goal, my goal back right then? now is to lose weight i'm i'm not like the skinniest person i think around 2020 that's when i started um working out a little bit more trying to go on a diet and i mean i i, w I would say i did a okay job i'm still trying to lose well obviously right now i can't exercise because I'm, I'm in pain but i mean I, I guess compared to back then you know yeah you know, I, I, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Not, not too shabby, I think. So I guess that's. My I goal. still could do so a lot of work, but you know, not Don't too judge. bad. And uh, do you love me? Of course, I love you, heart. That's heart a strong. goddamn lie. I know that's a goddamn lie. That's so cringe. Stop it. Don't do that again, please. Yeah, there you go. That, that's for all for the lover boys out there. Actually, how old is this? This is 2016. I'm around. I, I think I'm 16. I think I'm 16 turning 17 that year. So like, if you actually said you love me at that time, pedophile, get him exposed. Next question, when will you release the patch? I don't do Minecraft. By the way, if you see me like putting on my glasses like this, like every time it's because uh -huh. my glasses keep falling. <laughs> it's so annoying and I'm trying to like- I still deal with that problem. <laughs> it's just not as bad anymore. I, I like ask to get it a bit tight and so it stops falling. But even, even then I still find myself putting on my glasses, even when I don't have my glasses and they're like adjusting it, I still find myself randomly just <laughs> just doing that even though i don't have my glasses and then like i have to stop to think to myself like wait i don't have my glasses on me uh, next question what is your name um you guys you know me as kaz i go by jeremy <laughs> and now people are gonna start calling me jeremy like i don't care i've said that multiple times that that is my name if you were curious i don't know why just Continue calling me Cass, please. It's just, it's just weird now. If you're like, hey, Jeremy, what's up? I, the amount of times I've had people, especially back in middle school, where they're like, hey, Jeremy, like from Phoenix and Ferb. That was so damn cringe. I'm not going to lie. Like, I hear that like behind me, right? I'm not, I'm not quite shy kid. So like, I didn't want to look at them, but I knew who they were. And I heard that. And then <laughs> I wanted to turn. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, come on, man. No. How old are you and are you still in school? Okay. I am now 25. I'm actually kind of glad. Uh, since it's my birthday, I am turning 25. <laughs> I'm in my mid-20s. Someone help me. How am I in my mid-20s? Like, actually, matter of fact, why am I still here? That's a fun question. Anyway, uh, am I still in school? Current me, uh, I did graduate. I got my associate's degree, but right now I'm getting my bachelor's degree in another college. I transferred and I am almost done. I should be graduating somewhere around next year or like mayish or something maybe so that's fun while i still do youtube as like a some like hobby side thing um i am 16 years old my oh, birthday so the people that said they loved me back then pedophiles get him get him we found him is on april 28th so uh, i'm turning Today. 17 in like three months <laughs> i turned 25 my guy <laughs> oh, god help me how how 
And uh, are you still? Am I still in school? I am in high school. I'm a junior. <laughs> How was he, man? Okay, wait. If I think back to junior year, junior year wasn't too bad. L later on, we, in the following year, we go to prom, and prom is super weird. We are going all over the place to hang out with so many different people. It was exhausting. I remember going up so many different escalators. This isn't about what happened in senior year. Anyway, yeah, that happened. Kazuto, can you tell me you love? <laughs> be careful actually actually at this time i was still very young young lad so if anything this person here they could have been over the age and that means we found him get him love me i love you <laughs> when did your ch the fuck up b no you don't that's a goddamn lie who are you who is that <laughs> when did my channel start getting popular damn good question i don't remember the exact date but i believe when i started doing minecraft pixelmon that's when my channel started blowing up slowly i saw like the little traction i was getting with each minecraft pixelmon like at that time right i was getting 100 to 200 views per video and at that time getting 100 views was a big deal so i saw i was getting that traction and i thought oh man if i kept this up maybe i could build the next Asian canadian or sky knows minecraft although we don't talk about what's going on with that guy now back when i did that series that that series basically blew up i think i had like a hundred thousand views on that one and then i did minecraft sort of online that one blew up i did minecraft tokyo ghoul that one blew up and i got everything wrong in that video but who talks about that and now let's fast forward <laughs> to the the future passes video got a thing called a <laughs> sort of all memory defrag that did pretty well for me did some other mobile game i did mario kart tour <laughs> that did all right ish for me did some genshin at the beginning was doing well i just didn't prioritize that unleash blade in that came out did pretty well and then you have <laughs> very <laughs> showdown <laughs> now i mean honkai star rail here and there solo leveling arise here and i'm waiting for wuthering waves that one i'm super excited for that's what i that's the history of my channel the tldr channels start getting popular so i believe my channel started getting popular it's rather 2012 or 2013 when been... i uploaded my first pixelmon let's play. it might have been so 2013 i don't know if you, there's any viewers out there that are still watching since then but um yeah wait though let me bring that back to you guys <laughs> there are any of you with me since then i think one of my mods in my discord has been with me since minecraft gun Gale online i think i'm pretty sure that's what they told me but i'm also not too for sure yeah it's 1 30 a.m here by the way <laughs> 1 30 um... things don't change you know what time it is right here right now right here it's 10 56 p.m a day before I yeah this is being uploaded a couple hours later go back because they would assume you cheated so dude wait i realized as i'm watching this right how old am I? I i said i was 16 right and then i was turning 17 that year dude i voice crack a lot <laughs> you could tell i'm hitting puberty or something jesus christ god damn who do you ship kirito with and why um i don't know basic asana asana is cool but i don't count asana right and you have all these other girls i'm not gonna say game verse right let's say anime verse anime verse dude i, I like xenon for some reason i just i really like xenon a lot i think they have a pretty good chemistry thing going on there let them develop if if asana wasn't in the picture right let's I get xenon let them develop dude they're, they're popping off um what about back then asana b of course basic uh do you watch basic do you watch anime <laughs> no i don't i hate anime anime is for fucking weaves it's for losers it's for nerds how could you ask me such a question yes i still watch anime anime is great i mean i don't watch it as much as i did back then but i still here and there dabble with anime i still enjoy it i still love it i still have a lot of anime class i still i still want to go to anime conventions oh my god weep and what is my favorite anime <laughs> probably seo it's not really seo anymore i don't know though what i would say my favorite anime is See, if we're talking in a sense of like what what is that one show the comfort show that you can always go to when you're bored right if i consider that like oh that might be my favorite anime there's a couple i can think of right obviously one of them would be death note death note is always a fun watch but weirdly enough i think 
second, I would probably say Kuroko no basketball. <laughs> I don't know why. Kur Kuroko's basketball. For some reason, I just really enjoy that show. And I can always find myself rewatching it over and over and over, especially like when I'm bored or I'm eating and I need a sh something to watch. Uh, do you watch anime? Probably yes, is what I'm guessing. No, I don't watch anime, you know, just because my name is Akira or Kazuto. Yeah, anime sucks. And um, I pretty much talk about animes I watch in some of my videos. I don't watch anime at all. Anime's horrible. What's your favorite anime? Possibly <laughs> SAO. If it is SAO, what season? Well, for the sake of this video, Let's I'm change not it. going to say SEO. Okay, because, what is it? Uh, prob prob probably too obvious. Uh, so, I guess my favorite anime would be. Mm -hmm. Detective Conan, like I said, I yeah, Detective Conan's a good show too. Like that is definitely like a childhood show that I can go to. I definitely need to catch up. The only episodes I do catch up on are the episodes when Shin Chi, <laughs> when he basically comes back. If I were to pick another anime, because I have another one in mind, it would be Mirai Nikki in Future Diary. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I mean, yeah. But I mean, a show to go to when I'm bored. I don't know if I put Mary Nikki. Right, I'm talking like if I'm in like in front of family too. So like, I don't know if I put Mary Nikki. Although if I'm sitting by myself in a chair, then yes, I could watch Mary Nikki. Uh, what game would you want to be in? Sword Art Online or Alfheim Online? I would want to be in Alfheim Online. Now let me explain. Sword Art Online is very limited to what they can do. Right, you only really have like sword skills you can use an axe i don't think sword art like besides the game verse i don't think can you use a bow i i don't recall being a people using a bow i don't think they can use long range at that time you can't even use magic right if you can't use magic in an mmo that's super boring but an alfheim right you, you literally have you you have bows you could still have your sword skills it literally has the same system as sword at all but you have magic and all these other special skills and you could fly dude who doesn't want to fly now i'm gonna say alfheim now the reason is because technically alfheim is still sword art online except yep. alfheim has magic you can fly so i'm gonna say alfheim because i believe i can fly <laughs> what the dude what dude i've been doing the sketch thing all day every day dude what's up brother special play it's much team special players special players tuesday yes sir <laughs> what was your first and favorite anime for man what was my first ever anime see i've seen so many animes but i don't know which one's my first one i want to say it might have been detective conan as i or inuyasha i think inuyasha because i stumble upon it within adult swim all right i'm just staying up at night and then inuyasha just randomly comes up detective conan like later on but that that might be the first anime favorite anime i mean you death no maybe kuroko basketball probably mary nick but you know probably one of the first two what was your first and favorite anime wow i actually never i think my first anime was detective conan or inuyasha and my favorite anime is still detective conan that's weird huh do you enjoy romance comedy anime if <laughs> God, we're forever alone. Yes, yes, I, I do enjoy a good rom-com here and there. Actually, it's one of my go-tos uh, every time a new season comes out. I just enjoy watching those as I remind myself, damn, forever lonely out here. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I'm pretty sure I said it in an SEO video, but most of the animes I've been watching before, sometimes now, but nowadays I would just watch whatever. Um, it's mostly Same. romance animes, uh, and it's... It's a bonus, or it's like an extra. If it, it has comedy, comedy. Dude, you should check out Konosuba. There's no, it's not really romance in that, but I mean, Konosuba is a great show. Comedy would make it better. Uh, Clannad. Clannad. <laughs> it did. I actually, I do remember when I first watched it, dude. I teared. I teared. Anyways, uh, what's my favorite? I guess it was this anime called a bridge of the starry sky or something oh my god i forgot about that show is it this one give me this one yes sir Th yes sir this show is always uh also a go-to one of my favorite uh i guess it has some comedy but it's mostly romance but yeah this is one of the first also when i was getting into anime but yes sir, this this show was was a good show first one have you ever played any collectible card games like no 
Look, I've tried. I've dabbled. I never enjoyed it. I think the last time I tried was the that one Yu-Gi-Oh mobile game. I tried that. I couldn't get into it. I'm just not a card person. I mean, if you count the one in Genshin, I guess uh, the, the CG, whatever. I, I I did try it in Genshin. I mean, it was cool, but I mean, I didn't I didn't really enjoy it that much. So. No. Then did you ever watch and or collected Super Sentai slash Power Rangers? Power Rangers. I used to have like some toys when I was a young kid. I used to really love Power Rangers. There was like an embarrassing story that my parents would always tell me. And I actually do remember it too. It's when I was very young and we're just out on the road. We're going back home. And then there's like just some dude in a motorcycle, right? With his helmet. He just zooms past us. And then I remember I saw that out the window. I'm like, look, it's a Power Ranger. And <laughs> it's just a dude in a motorcycle, man. It's not a stupid Power Ranger. <laughs> but I was I was a kid with a dream, a dream to meet my heroes. <laughs> if like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, if those count, then those two, I guess. I wasn't really a card person. Dude, I stole stolen. I just didn't really find it that enjoyable. I thought it was okay. But I was really bad at it. Did you ever watch and or collect Sen Super Sentai Power Rangers? A yeah, funny thing, when I was a kid, every time a motor a person in a motorcycle. <laughs> oh with my god! I by, said it back then I too. Say, Mommy, look, that's a Power Ranger. Oh, can I still do it? Ma ma <laughs> Mommy, look, it's a Power Ranger. <laughs> Are you planning to upload any other games in Minecraft? Well, <laughs> boy, oh boy, little did you know. You see, uh, older me now doesn't even do Minecraft anymore. I don't really enjoy the game as much as I did back then. I mean, here and there, I'll dabble, right? I'll have that little Minecraft phase. Like, oh man, I feel like going my, my weak phase of playing some Minecraft and then I'll stop playing. But now <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to figure out what to upload. Nowadays, it's just a lot of mobile games just because I, I, I am playing a lot of mobile games although i am not in my computer a lot so it's very handy that i could play it on the go uh what made you create a youtube channel well okay if you didn't know i've actually been on youtube for a very long time i since i think since uh 2007 my very first channel still up there i, I made a whole video when i had my 10 year anniversary you can always check that out i believe it started uh when i think my cousin and my sister they introduced me to YouTube and I saw they had YouTube channels and I saw like they uploaded like a little bit. Uh, I forgot what they uploaded, but it was some random thing. So I thought to myself, like, I want, I want to make my own YouTube channel and I want to upload a video of my own. So I had my sister help me set up a channel and then bam, I had a channel. My very first upload was an, a re-upload of Gohan versus Boo. In from Dragon Ball Z and I remember that feeling of like feeling super hyped that a video even though I didn't even make that video a video that I put out on my channel just being there for people to watch for just for some reason little me was super hyped and excited uh, about that and the idea of that that I got addicted to it so like I would bug her because I didn't know how to do it. I would bug her to help me make some more videos. So like she would help me make a couple more videos. And then eventually I finally figured out uh, how to do my own thing. And I even figured out how to do hypercam. So I tried doing some similar stuff that like my sister was doing. And then I did my thing like Pop Tropica, Club Penguin, a game called Addition that used to be owned by Nexon, but now it's not. Years go by, I had another channel, got shut down. And then another year goes by. Then I thought about just not doing youtube at all for and that didn't really last a lot maybe like a month or two and then i decided what if i just made my own gaming channel and next thing i knew i had a different <laughs> minecraft channel then i hated the name i was gonna call myself swords right can you imagine how dumb that would have been so i decided to like scrap that and then came back to it but this time Kazuto online i liked it better stuck with it here we are now a youtube channel um it started off other youtube channels but they got all shut down except for one it's still up today but i'm not going to tell you guys it just yet because that channel it's so cringeworthy <laughs> okay well technically i didn't even do a commentary at that time so it's not really super cr i mean kind of Actually, yeah, there's some videos that are super cringe, now that I think about it, but it, it's not all of it. 
I have like random videos like a, if you don't remember Nexon edition which is now Red Banner but then I have like these maple story type of videos like trying to make my own sort of ep like my own series I like, reacted to that to, like sh show it was it was it was uh, I tried making those but with maple story I think it was called like some going to the nurse uh, I doubt like if you Don't, search it up. We do not talk about going to the nurse episode one. We will never talk about going to the nurse. That was crazy. At that time, I didn't even know like, when I made going to the nurse. I didn't even know about the whole like Filipinos and being nurses and whatnot. I didn't know about that whole thing. I just named it going to the nurse. <laughs> Dude, the nurse is in my blood. <laughs> So I closed that channel, but I called myself Swords. It was a <laughs> no, not dumb. Swords. We don't. It was talk also about a that. dumb uh, IGN, and I don't want to tell you guys it because it was terrible. No, I'll tell but you I'll now, eight years later. See, originally I was supposed to be Sword. Uh, what was it? Sword Art Online fifteen. Sword Art Online MC. The reason I was gonna call myself that was because my very first Minecraft username was Sword Art Online fifteen. Why fifteen? I have no idea. It, it went through for the for you know making your name, and I like Sword Art Online at that time. So <laughs> I called myself that. And I was making a YouTube channel. Well, my name was Sword Art Online 15, so I might as well call myself Swords. And absolutely hated it. Other videos, I tried to do a survival let's play, but I I think I called that the online world of Minecraft. I think I private those. We do not talk about the online world of Minecraft. Please never bring that up again. <laughs> it's my first ever Minecraft series, survival series. And, you know, I thought I had to be cool like those OG YouTubers or I had to make like an original name. And since, you know, <laughs> online and we're online. What about the online world of Minecraft? It was so, so cringe. Please never again. Um, Can you give me some advice for getting noticed on YouTube? Dude, I wonder. OK, I'll let I'll let old me speak now and then I'll speak about current YouTube and how I see what people should do, maybe uh, of how to grow. Although, you know, I'm just a small YouTuber. So what would I know? Um, be original. Um, have fun with what you're doing. Like, <laughs> legit, just have fun. Um, be yourself. Like, I'm I'm trying to do that more. Like, trying to be more of myself. I don't know why. Like, when I'm by myself, like recording a video, like, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. I'm like, it's kind of weird talking to myself, but you know, you get used still, to. Any like what I do is like I I'm thinking like I'm talking to someone or I'm doing a conversation with someone. So I try to keep up with the talking and talking and all that fun and stuff. I still do yeah, that. Um, for me, you know, sort of online, like anything on Minecraft's SEO. Not many people did it when I started it. Then I did the Let's Play. And next, you know, it, my channel blew up because of that. And then now, like, if you type it in, you can see more SEO videos. And it's just really cool. So, yeah, just try to be original. All right. Now, let me give you my current advice. Uh, for growing on YouTube first and foremost if you were just starting out on YouTube just up right just, just literally upload same goes for streaming just stream just make content right you need to find the love and the joy for making videos first before you ever think about wanting to make this a big thing don't think about the money don't think about the views don't think about anything just do it. Whatever you like doing, whatever you're playing, right? It could be Valorant, could be Genshin, could be whatever it is you're doing. You're just, just upload, right? And once you upload, right, you want to be able to watch your video. So as each upload goes by, start thinking to yourself, what parts were boring of your video and what can you do to improve that? So you want to slowly improve on your content. And once you finally start improving to the point where you can at least watch your videos then you could start thinking about what can you do to start growing and some parts of what you can do to start growing right upload youtube shorts upload tiktok upload videos that people want to see what do i mean by that third thing though basically right depending on whatever game you're doing you want to upload what people want to see so like how to do something or you could do a challenge, but let's be real, right? People aren't really searching up challenges. You could do challenges later 
when you have like some viewers right and that way your videos could go up to the algorithm but for now you want your your videos to be known to youtube of what it is that you're actually uploading so for now just focus on how to do something on the current thing that you're uploading that you're enjoying and as for like youtube shorts and tiktoks right that, those could be hit or miss you honestly you need to upload a lot of those more than you should be doing with regular youtube videos you should be uploading youtube videos right but you should also put a lot more focus to shorts for the time being until you can grow um some viewers right it's usually recommended to upload like three youtube shorts slash tiktoks a day just upload the same thing you upload from tiktok to youtube shorts or other way around vice versa and after you do all all of that right you start hopefully growing a viewer base just know that if you do a very saturated popular game it's going to be a little bit harder uh, to get noticed but once you do get noticed it will be a little bit easier Easier to grow but if you do go to a smaller market right for example i did memory defect memory defect wasn't that big it's easier to get noticed on that game because not too many people really covered that game and as i kept going right i did slowly rise but let's say if that was genshin right and i got that recognition and slowly grew genshin is super popular that would have i would have had like more viewers watching compared to when i did memory defrag i still got a lot of viewers in my standards but if i wanted it to be even more then yeah, i would have to branch out outside of it but just remember at the end of the day you still need to be entertaining to the point where even if you got tired of the game you're doing you don't want the people to leave just because they're only there to watch you for that certain game you want people to be there for you so be entertaining and then people could be coming with you with whatever game you're doing in the feature or live streams and whatnot and same goes for streaming just stream and then hope for the best as you upload your youtube shorts your tiktoks your long form video and whatnot worry about you know like click through away and all that like some other time where you don't have you don't have to worry about that now just upload just do something so you get noticed and that's i guess that's pretty much the advice i can give you what was your reason for youtube channel um i love uploading basic that that's like literally tldr i just i just like uploading i thought it was a super cool concept and i still think it is um it was pretty much to have fun and to just play with friends and just upload videos and see how much i would change and now that i look at my old videos right i have now changed because my first video had no commentary it, the reason it didn't have any commentary was because i was really shy I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to do any commentary. I had this other fun fact. I can still remember my very first YouTube video. I remember I was sitting in my bed and my cousin was next to me. He was in an Arabic because he was visiting for the summer. And then I had my own little private server I had. And I set up like a whole survival games lobby and we were next to each other. And instead of commentary, we were typing out to each other. <laughs> it's kind of kind of funny and adorable. But it's still very memorable. Like, I still remember when I first made my first video. And it, it's like a it's like a loving memory to look back on. It's great. How did your parents react to you starting a YouTube channel? Uh, they, I mean, they didn't. They actually were very supportive. They actually don't care. They, if anything, they, wa they watch my videos. <laughs> it's so I tell them, like, please stop it. Don't. They were OK with it. They said as you can do it just as long as you don't show your face and look at me. I'm rebelling. I'm showing yeah, my so, face. Yep. Hello. <laughs> what up? I'm sorry, mom and dad, if you're watching this video. But <laughs> yes, sir. Um, if you use a headset slash mic, what are their brand names? And Nowadays, I have some random earbuds I found in Walmart and or I think I got an Amazon. Then I have this Elgato Wave 3 microphone. My my beauty it is a great mic. Um, my mic right here, it's the Blue Yeti and uh, my headset. Um, I have like this headset I got from the Philippines. Oh my God, I remember that headset. It broke. Actually, I think I still have it. I don't know where it is. Actually, do I? Know? I think I do. Or is that my old one? I'd actually, never mind. I don't know. Um, they have the Attack on Titan logo. <laughs> it was my favorite. I got that at the Philippines. Then it broke. It literally snapped. So I couldn't use it anymore. It so I don't know how it happened, but it made me so sad. Would you consider yourself as a weeb or a normal person? I am way beyond a normal person. I will never be normal again. I am way too close to the to the sun than the sun being a weeb. I am way closer to that than I am to a normal person. But yeah, I am not normal. This is, I am a goddamn weeb. 
had the same dude that went to Japan and I was crossing a little train thing and said, look, this is where I get isekai. Like, what is wrong with me, dude? <laughs> I'm just crossing. I'm crossing. You guys actually looked up what weeb means. Weeb is a person that really likes anime culture. So that's one part you can call me a weeb for because I'm my name, obviously. But um, another one is like, it's a person that keeps or that tries to speak their language it's like konnichiwa um what was it sukoi sukoi so ohayou gozaimasu watashi no kaz kaz desu um so i don't know suburashi i took duolingo for a year and i still don't know anything but i don't really say those a lot so I wouldn't really consider myself a weeb. I mean, you can call me a weeb if you want. To be honest, that doesn't really bother me. I mean, weeb, fool, weeb. Anyways, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would like to be able to teleport anywhere at any time. I, you know, traveling's fun. I like traveling. So if I can, like, uh, out of nowhere, bop, I'm in Japan, dude, I'm living the lie. Or whatever power it is where I can conjure up money so I don't have to worry about money. Yeah, that's cool, too. I'll take it. Any superpower, what would it be? I think I would want the ability to turn invisible. I don't know. I thought I think that would. Hmm. You don't say, huh? Sixteen-year-old me. I see you. Be cool. Just imagine, like you play hide and seek. And that's a goddamn lie. I know that's a goddamn lie. Shut the hell up. This All right. That was basically the end of the Q and A. But man, it's so weird looking back at that. Like eight years later, I did not watch that video at all throughout these eight years so i mean if you want to ask questions for next year for me to answer so that the following years as the years go by i can answer the same questions like and the future i want to be able to do that so you know you can ask the questions now but i won't answer it until probably within like the next year or something i think that'll be fun i think that'll be cool being able to answer these same questions eight years later it's very very interesting but yeah i mean if you have questions that you want me to answer i'll answer it in a year when i turn 26 oh, then 27 and then to probably 28 i'm 25 right now my <laughs> i'm in pain thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys enjoy it like comment subscribe all that fun stuff but anyways i'll see you guys all again in the very next video hopefully i upload one soon unless i'm in pain again i'll see you guys next time goodbye